Hi there everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this tutorial video guys, we will solve one of the requested no, machine problem sent by our one of our subscribers here in the Philippines. Uh, to solve the prelim, midterm, and interim grade using average no, in C++ programming language. Before we start, I would like to say thank you so much to all my viewers, silent viewers, and supporters in my channel. Thank you for watching my videos. If you are new with my channel and then you like this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to share and please support my channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. So let's get started. I will put a link in the video description where you can download the source code of this uh, tutorial video. Okay, so one of my subscriber leave a comment in one of my videos asking me no, to create a program in C++ to solve the prelim, midterm, and end term grade average grade now using c++ okay so here is the solution that what that the subscriber is asking for i hope he is watching no so this uh problem is a common machine problem given by the professors and teachers in computer programming class especially in c++ even java or c so uh, basically i'm using div c++ in writing this program so we have here sharp include the io stream for input output so this library file is always uh, being included in every c pro c++ program so what it does uh, it will allows us to use the command console out console in using namespace std int main it is the starting point and ending point of every c++ program we have here begin and then I declare four variables which has a data type of integer. So we have here prelim, midterm, and term, and then average underscore grade to solve no the average grade. So we have here line number ten console, uh, uh, console out new line here and then the title of our program prelim, midterm, and end term average grade solver in C plus plus new line here. 13 and 14 we are asking the user to give the prelim grade that will be stored in our variable prelim and then the same thing with the midterm and the end term take note we are using the data type of integer if we are new with computer programming when we say integer it refers to a data type that can accept whole number positive and negative number including zero there, there are no decimal places when we are using integer so in solve so this portion of our code line number 13 up to 18 we are asking for grades no prelim midterm and end term grade line number 20 average underscore grade we will compute for the average grade what we can do is very simple guys we just add the prelim midterm and end term grade we close in the parentheses and then slash for division by three so we have here new line and the average grade of the student is average underscore grade new line and a program which informs the user that the program has been ended and then we have also here new line and then we close no the uh, right curly bracket uh, we close the main uh, function okay so let us compile and run so that we can test our program so, mm -mm. Okay, compile and run again. Oh my, forgot something. Okay, our program is running now. Prelim, midterm, and end term. Average grade solver in C++. Inter prelim grade, we have 90. In the midterm, let's say we have 76. End term, we have 95. So the average grade of the student is 87% end of program. Another example, we run prelim, midterm, and end term, average grade solver in C++, in term prelim grade, we have, let's say we have 78, 88, in the midterm, end term, we have 97. So the average grade of the student is 87 again, and a program. Okay guys, so this is the end of our tutorial video on solving the average grade of the student based on prelim, midterm, and end term grade that is being given using C++ programming language. 
Thank you so much guys for watching. I repeat, I will put a link in the video description of this tutorial video where you can download the complete source code no? in my two websites for free at no cost at all. Okay, so don't forget to like, share, and please support me channel guys by clicking the subscribe button. See you in the next video tutorial guys. This is your friend Jake saying bye bye for now.